Hello and welcome to Car Blog India. I'm your host Rohit Kurana and in this video we are going to test drive the Datsun Ready Go. This is the newest hatch that has been launched by Datsun and in this video we'll tell you whether this is worth spending your money on. How good it is to drive what it has to offer you. Let's get started with this review. Let's start with the exterior styling and then we'll take you inside and after that we'll talk about the ride and handling. On the exteriors this car is really attractive and sporty. It has the signature design elements of Datsun like the hexagonal grill with a large Datsun logo. It also uses some chrome to make it look more premium. The addition of daytime running LED lamps does look very upmarket and classy. However, the illumination intensity of these LEDs is not very high. They turn off automatically when you turn on the headlamps. The front fascia of the car is sporty, attractive and does look nice. Move to the sides and you would notice the pronounced wheel arches. There are also side sweeping headlamps which are visible from this angle very well. The character lines running across the car right from the front wheel arch all the way to the back merging into the tail lamp. It does look crossoverish and sporty from the side as well. Move to the rear of the car and you would notice the loudest part of this car's design. The back has been designed like a crossover or SUV styling. It comes with premium touches like a chrome slat on the rear door with ready go logo nicely embossed and finished in chrome it has black scuff plate on silver and other color variants while the green variant gets the silver scuff plates which gives it nice and sporty look from the rear all in all the exterior styling is very impressive and it is for sure a head turner get inside the car and this premium perception starts to fade there is lack of basic features like internally adjustable outside rear view mirrors there is also no central locking on offer which is i believe a very basic feature for security of the car but if you look at the practical aspects the seating position the viewing area that is available to the driver in the driving seat it is very well sorted it gets nice comfortable seats with good side support on the front seats and the rear seats also get these comfy cushiony seats with good lower back support as well as good under thigh support the size of the cabin is nicely optimized considering that it is a very compact car keeping the engine bay smaller and boot to an optimal size there is a lot of space inside the cabin especially with the slim seats at the front the door panels are also fairly skinny and on the front door panels you will find exposed metal parts which are the door pockets or the map pockets on the door the dashboard design is fairly simple and looks attractive as well. But there is nothing fancy here, a very simple looking instrument cluster which comes with a small multi information display that gives you the distance to empty, fuel gauge, instantaneous fuel mileage etc. So it is loaded very well with features in that small display. There is large speedometer easy to view when you are glancing at it. The central console gets manual air conditioning which is very effective by the way and chills the cabin in no time. Above the air conditioning system you get the infotainment system which is average at best. Under the air conditioning console you also get a 12 volt charging port. There are cubby holes and storage spaces all around the cabin and there are nice and big cup holders next to the gear knob. The power window controls for the front doors are provided next to the gear knob on the front and not on the doors. The rear doors however do not get power windows at all. There is no day night mirror on the inside. There is rear parcel tape provided however. The cabin overall looks fine, is comfortable and spacious, gives you airy feel and comfort for two passengers at back. Third passenger at the back seat would be slight squeeze. It does lack some features and creature comforts however. There is an optional safety variant in which you can opt for driver side airbag. The boot space here is 222 litre which is not class leading or ground breaking by any chance but it is good enough for normal city commutes and occasional airport drops. It can easily accommodate two medium sized bags which is good enough for most urban commuters. Now let's talk driving experience and performance. This car is powered by 
an 800 cc 54 ps motor which churns out 72 newton meters of torque with a rated fuel economy of upwards of 25 kilometers to a liter that is the arai rating this car promises good fuel economy with peppy performance it shares the engine as well as platform with the renault sibling quid do check out our quid review i am linking it on top right of your screen as well as in the description section below the gearbox here has short ratios and you would probably require quick gear shifts in city the engine is free revving and is comparatively more refined when you compare it to quid it's easy to drive and very peppy in nature considering that the car's weight is not too much it's very easy to accelerate this car up to a speed of around 60 km per hour after which the lack of power tends to become more visible if you keep accelerating gradually this car easily reaches 100 or 110 but it may take 15 to 20 seconds to reach a mark of 100 or 110 it's a relaxed city cruiser but on the highways you would probably want some more punch few things that i really like about this car is the short turning radius and high ground clearance of 185 mm it can deal with most of the potholes on the city roads however it is not meant to be an off roader next up steering feel i really love the way the steering feels on this car it's not very light when you are driving at lower speeds it's fairly light and comfortable but when you drive faster say when you cross a speed of 40 or 50 km per hour it nicely weighs up and gives you very good feedback it gives you very direct and confidence inspiring driving experience the lane changing manners and handling of this car is also commendable it does handle very well and there is close to no body roll even when cornering at higher speeds the suspension is slightly on the stiffer side but it easily gobbles up most of the potholes and undulations when you are driving upwards of 80 km per hour you would notice the undulations because the suspension is slightly on the tougher side but overall the ride quality is comfortable and handling is sharp next up braking that is one area that we believe need some improvement although it gets par assisted brakes it does manage to stop in time but you have to put in some more effort on the pedal and it lacks the bite that we would have liked it to have summing up the ride handling and performance of this car we are very happy with the way it drives only the braking is one area where we think it can improve so should you buy this car is it worth putting your money on well i'll talk about things that i like about this car and things i don't like and then you take your call whether you want to go for it or not considering that this car will be available from 3 lakhs to 4 lakh rupees on road price this comes with a head turner exterior design it is fun to drive it gives you high driving posture with good road visibility it has well tuned suspension daytime running lamps peppy performance great handling spacious interiors a decent boot size an affordable price tag optional driver side airbag for safety effective air conditioning comfortable seats very well contained nvh and very short turning radius which helps in the city driving things that we think could have been better are brakes there is no central locking there is no day night internal mirror there is no vanity mirror and there are exposed metal panels on the inside doors if you look at the list of pros and cons the list of pros is very long compared to the list of cons which is probably nitpicking apart from the brakes and central locking which we think really need some improvement So in my honest opinion you can go for this car if you have a price budget of around 4 lakh rupees this is an excellent car to go with considering that in this price segment you would hardly find something that matches up to this style and driving experience That's what we think about the Redigo what are your thoughts do let us know in the comment section below if you enjoyed watching this video give us a thumbs up by pressing the like button below stay subscribed for more videos from Car Blog India This is your host Rohit Khurana signing off. Thanks for watching.